Hey guys, um, it's me, and uh, I really didn't have a plan uh, jumping on here, but I did want to tell you all something. Um, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that besides uh, doing these videos, doing podcasts, I've been writing for close to 11 years. And the reason why I'm here uh, this morning, very early without a, without a plan, is to tell you all that um, when I was first learning how to write screenplays and I didn't know a fucking thing about what I was doing, um, as a matter of fact, I was so fucking ignorant to the whole process of uh, what it entails to write a screenplay and all the elements that I flamed out of my course. And I had to take it three more times before I actually got a satisfying grade uh, out of it. But uh, that aside, um, the first story that I decided to write in screenplay format was about a father and a son going on a road trip. And then uh, a couple weeks later, I decided to make it, what about a father and a son uh, trying to reconnect after a tragedy or something. Fine. So I wrote that. It didn't go well. Uh, I think I got like a D or a C. I got a note on the uh, on the script in the margins that said, "Oh, nice try, but you know you're a fuck up for learning. Your your format is 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 shit. It it just fucking sucks. Nothing works the way it should." So fast forward uh, to, uh, I guess, a couple years later. Sorry, this is this is like ancient history for me. This is like 16 years ago. So forgive me if I uh, if I forgo some of the details. But sometime later, I saw a film written by Alexander Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi called People Like Us. And the basic plot of that film is a son who is rejected by his record father uh his his uh a son that is rejected by his father after his death finds out that he has a stepsister that he never knew about so i watched that movie and that movie gave me the idea to do a story about a father and a son connecting uh trying to reconnect with one another after a tragedy so you have my base idea and you have this film. Um, now, sometime later, uh, my mother passed away. And when my mother passed away, I really didn't have the best of relationships with my mother. Now, when I say my mother, I mean my grandmother because I was raised by my grandparents. As a matter of fact, my grandparents brought me back from the hospital in a fucking shoebox. So I never gave my grandparents, specifically my mother, the love that she deserved. I, you know, I, I was so, so awful to her that it wasn't really, really fair. Now, granted, I was going through some shit. I was going through my teenage years, but... I, you know, I was like, I was like the fucking devil child from hell. I never told her, I, you know, I fucking loved her. I think I told her I loved her maybe in the, what? Tw what? 22 years of, of life that I spent with her? I mean, before she died, I'm, I mean, I may have told her I love you maybe like 12 times or something like that. I, you know, I was never that guy. So, um... Towards the end, in the final year of her life before she had her uh, fatal accident, I felt that we were finally getting to a place to where we understood each other and to where we could finally move forward as adults. And right when I thought we were turning the corner, she passed away. And when she did that, because of my genetic makeup, I didn't know how to deal with it. I... I I didn't, you know, you, you know, I couldn't process as so many people 
I'm sure aren't able to do after they uh, undergo a tragedy like that. So what did I do? I uh, fell back into the only coping mechanism that I thought could help me rationalize the grief that I was feeling. And that was doing what? You guessed it, writing. So, um, one of my favorite shows of all time is Fringe, which is also co-created by Alexander Kurtzman and Roberto Rossi. Those two guys, those two guys' names are significant because, moving back uh, to uh, to an earlier point, they wrote the film People Like Us, which is a story about this guy. After his uh, father dies, he finds out that he has, he has an adoptive sister, and he, throughout the whole course of the film, tries to find out if his adoptive sister is worthy of the mother of the money that his father left her. So, but that's neither here nor there. These guys created uh, a show called Fringe. Now, basically what that is, is a show about a mad scientist who loses his son. And he is so stricken with grief that he figures that, that he finds out that there are multiple universes out there. And in each one of these universes, there are different copies of us. So this mad scientist goes into another universe to take a copy of his son that isn't his and, and, and bring him back to his time. But as a result of this scientist doing one thing, he basically, he basically disrupts the balance in between our universe and the universe that he goes into, which, 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 which causes a ripple effect that causes a whole bunch of fucked up shit to go down uh, during this series. So basically, um, I took uh, my idea a little bit from People Like Us, and a large chunk from the basis of Fringe. So I took all those stories and I melted them in to my own with my own original story. Um, so yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm here to announce today. After 16 years of trying to tell a particular story just about two guys I have found I have finally finished uh, well you could say my first ever screenplay as a matter of fact it's uh, m uh, uh, my second draft um, this this story has really been a labor of love for me uh, because it means so much to me uh, because uh, it was a way to honor uh, the passing of my mother. It was a way to honor the writers who uh, made me um, the person I am today professionally. And it was just a, it was an odyssey because when I was, learn when, when I was learning how to write, I was told by some people that the only reason that I passed a course is because the writer is because uh, um, the professor, which is my mentor, because he taught me basic screenplay format. The only reason I passed, I was told by another friend, was because the right because the professor felt uh, pity on me because I was disabled and I tried so hard. But every time I tried, I just kept falling and falling and falling and falling. The interesting thing about that whole thing is. When I made the decision to uh, write, uh, t to become, uh, you know, uh, to write movies, I didn't initially want to write movies. What I wanted to do was write for TV. So I um, went to my college counselor at the time and I said, listen, do you have any courses uh, to learn how to write for TV? And she said, no, but we do have this course that we just started called Writing for Film. So that's how I ended up there. Um, and, I, and I could honestly say that I'm so glad that I took that road and I learned how to write movies first before I taught myself 
how to write uh, TV because basically it's the same format in my estimation it's the same format with uh, with a few tweaks here or there so you know I was so happy that I had to go through all that fucking shit to get to here uh, to where I have said my piece about you know a, a large portion of my life and I'm able to move on now and I'm able to just let these characters go because if you think about it I've had these characters and this story in my head in one form or, or another for 16 plus years so it is such a relief to say goodbye to these characters and to say goodbye to this chapter of my writing career and move forward on that same note I actually have um, a series that I'm planning to actually start writing and I actually reached out to a couple people who actually agreed to help me craft the series is, is as far as script editing is concerned and I have one other person who is interested in co-writing so uh, within the next four weeks or so I will actually because I basically uh, broke down the pilot uh, already scene by scene a couple months ago so within like four weeks or so I'm gonna actually start physically writing the pilot and then sending the pilot off to my co-writer and I hope that she likes it because if she does uh, she'll work with me but if she doesn't like it um, you know I'll leave the door open that she can still work with me and I'll still ask her for advice but if she doesn't want to work with me because she doesn't like the way that you know I write or, or, or my pace when I'm writing I completely I completely understand that if that happens it will be uh, it, 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 will, it, will, it will be just me writing this thing. So, yeah, um, sorry for this off-the-cuff video, but I really thought that I should document uh, this um, momentous occasion in my writing career. I've already documented it on uh, twi uh, Twitter, Instagram. I even, I even posted a little something on Snapchat, but... I really wanted something concrete. I really wanted something on video for myself uh, as evidence to tell myself that I really could accomplish uh, anything that I set my mind to. All right, guys. So uh, with that being said, as always, I'll see you when I see you.